Hello guys and girls, this is Billy Dietas for Olive Sparrow Leathercraft and in this quick video I'm gonna show you how to make one of these little spectacle cases. First, coffee. Ah, yeah, that, that was necessary. <laughs> And one more thing, down in the description below, I'll have a link, or actually I will have a link and a discount code where you can get this for free on my Etsy store. So you can just download it and build along. The three versions, one is this one here for sunglasses, there's another narrow one for smaller reading glasses, and another one that has a slightly different design around the corners. So yeah, go get that and let's start making this thing. <laughs> So what I've gone ahead and done is cut out a piece of leather and scribe with my scratch all the shape of the spectacle case onto the leather. Now the first step of course is to cut out the shape. Just use a ruler and a sharp blade and follow the lines you've scribed into the leather. Or if you have the, the pattern stuck onto the leather, just follow the lines on the pattern. I have a different video in which I show you exactly how to use my patterns and how to stick the various pieces together if that is needed. And yeah, how to use the patterns. So let's just cut these out. Okay, and one more. It's nice to use a square a right angle ruler like that because you know that you can get your cuts very straight and square to each other so it's not uh, like skewed or something. So we have a square but of course we need to cut the corners so they're round like on the pattern. There are two options of course one is to just use the knife and bit by bit cut off the corner and the other one is to use a punch like that. I'm just gonna use the knife. So we could cut. Already looks pretty good on one corner. Look good. So the next step is for me to laser engrave my logo in here. So if you want to do any laser engraving or stamping of the leather or painting of the leather or if you want to do anything like this, now's the time. All right, we have the logo engraved. Don't know if you can see that, yeah. <laughs> and the next step is to make the edge here along the opening of the spectacle case nice and bubbled so that step is optional but if you want to do it it will just give a nicer finish to the whole product so just use an edge bevel layer like that and go along the top edge only the top edge the other edges first need to be uh, sewn together and glued together and then at the finishing, we will bevel those edges. So, so quick and easy. We're done with the top edge. But what I want to do now, it's easier to do it now when the leather is just straight, is to use a bit of the wax paste or tokenol is I think another product to bevel the edge, not to bevel, to, hmm, to slick the edge, to make it nice and shiny and to also seal it from the elements and from um, moisture. So just applying a little bit of box paste and the edge slicker. You don't need to use a lot of pressure, just the friction is enough going front and back a few times. And uh, a little bit more wax for the finish, let's say for the polish. 
if you can see that. So, the next step is to fold the case and the best option I think is to use a bit of glue, leather glue or even super glue or some kind of glue <laughs> to keep the case in this folded shape, in its final shape, so you can punch the stitching holes and stitch the thing together. This of course if you're not using the holes from the pattern. If you use the holes from the pattern and a simple hole punch like this, I showed you in the pattern video, just put the pattern on here, punch the holes, saw it, you're golden. If you want to do it the way I will do it now, using these stitching prongs, you will need a bit of glue. This here is the contact cement I use. Let me open it up. With this contact cement and with most contact cements or leather glues, you need to apply the glue to both sides of the leather. So if you wanna uh, glue these sides together to make the shape, we need to apply glue to both sides. And normally like, let it dry for a few minutes so it gets like a little bit tacky and it's not so liquid anymore. And then we can glue it together. I usually just use a heat gun to, heat, to pro speed the process up, but yeah. Let's just do this now, so you can see it. I'm just using an old brush now. Another nice option is to use a big syringe, but I broke mine, so I have to get a new one. So the brush will do for now. Just here along the edge, without going too deep, we just want to glue the edge together. So, as you can see now, the shiny thing is the glue, and I have glue on my finger because I wasn't careful. Now, I'm gonna just use the heat gun to dry the glue by a bit to make it nice and tacky, and then I'm gonna glue the two sides together. You can use a simple hair dryer for this, but if you use a heat gun, just be careful, don't get too close, don't get too hot, so you don't damage the lever or heat it up, up too much. So now, the glue is a little tacky, you can feel the tack, but it doesn't like stick on your finger. And now we just fold the thing in two, line the edge up nicely in the corner. If the radius here doesn't line up perfectly, don't worry about it, we can fix that. Just the most important thing is that the top edge and the corner lines up and the long side here. Just use a bit of pressure and along the bottom too. And you see it already looks closer to our final product. Now what I do sometimes is use this little wooden hammer with the rounded edges here and hammer along the, along the glue line. to use much force, just some light taps to really get the two sides to stick together. So, as you might have noticed, if we get zoom in, the edge here is not quite perfect. One corner is a little bit bigger than the other. And of course, we have a 90 degree corner here, which if you like, you can leave it like that. But otherwise, we're gonna cut that off and make a nice radius of it. Lay it flat, use your knife, and follow the shorter, the, the smaller radius, so you cut off the excess leather from the piece below. Just like this. This already looks a lot better. And for this corner, you can again just use a knife or use this round punch like this one. Put a piece of leather under there. Line it up. Light up. And boom. Two nice corners. 
They're not the same radius, but that's kind of part of my design. Of course, if you had used the pattern exactly with the hole punch, you would be sewing now. But for us, we first now have to mark our stitching line and punch the holes with the pricking irons. So to mark the, sheet, oh, the stitching line, we're gonna use this tool here. Just along the edge where we wanna stitch, line it up. It, for the distance from the top, I usually use again this distance from the top to mark where I'm gonna start marking. And then just along the edge, I'm gonna stitch going down, slow and steady, around the corner. And a little bit up this corner. So now, yeah, you can probably see that. We have a fine line just around the edge. And now it's time to punch the holes. Again, use a scrap piece of leather, put it under your workpiece and use your pricking irons to drive them through the leather, through both sides of the leather. So like this, through both, to make the stitching holes we're gonna use. All right, so the holes have been punched. As you can see, probably. <laughs> yeah, the holes have been punched. And I have the thread and needles ready and my little stitching horse. So now let's just get started and stitch. For detailed video on how to do this saddle stitch that I'm gonna do now, and also for other stitching techniques, I'll have a video on my channel. So you might wanna check that out if you don't already know how to saddle stitch. Oh, and a little bonus tip for when you stitch at edges like this, and this is one of the few projects I use this, is when you reach the edge, you can make a nicer finish here by looping your thread around the edge like that. So I'm gonna take my right side thread and put it in from the left side and pull through. And the same, the other way, left hand th thread through the right side. And just pull tight. Be careful so the thread doesn't go on top, so it stays on the outside there. And pull. You don't need to pull extremely hard. But this makes the edge just a little bit nicer here. Maybe make the two threads line up a little bit more. Ah, just about like this.
A little bonus thing to make the stitches look a little bit nicer is just again take a small hammer, like this small wooden hammer, important, rounded edges, not like this edge that's all messy, rounded edges so you don't uh, do any marks in the leather and just a few light taps on the stitch. Which kind of punches the holes and makes them tighter and smaller and makes the stitch lay much flatter and yeah that just makes a ni for a nicer look on the finished product and now the final thing is again edge beveler and let's bevel these edges the top one we did before as I said because now it would be very difficult to make it so that one is already done, but now we have to do the remaining edges. And just like this, bit by bit, around the corners. Way to the top, and the back side too. The edge is beveled and just like before a little bit of the wax paste to polish and then just the edge slicker again all right so I think we are all done. Nice stitch, hammer flat, beveled edges. As you can see, they're nice and smooth now. A lot better than before. Engraved logo. And let's use my glasses to see if they fit. And yeah, just. Perfect. Again, if you want the free pattern, the free pattern of this spectacle case, look down in the description. You know, subscribe, like, and so on. It's really helpful for the channel and my little business. And if you like the pattern and you had fun making it, maybe also leave a review on Etsy. So, this is everything I think. See you on the next one. Ciao.